Okay, y'all, who's ready for some hot chicken wings? Um, one of the things we've kind of missed over time is, is eating chicken wings, either from our favorite uh, Asian takeout or the ones that used to come with pizza when we were in the pizza eating days. So we have found this is a really good um, substitute, and it's it's no carb, man. It's really, really great. Fits in beautifully with the ketogenic diet. So let me tell you how we do it. We start off with this ginormous bag of chicken wings. We'll get many, many, many servings, many meals out of this bag from Costco. They are flash frozen. There's no breading. The skin is on, and, and they're really a delight. Now, I don't cook these the way the package instructs to. Um, a little bit of a rebel. <laughs> Plus, I just found that the way they are instructed is to cook them in the oven and they kind of come out kind of pale. So here's what here's what we do. Um, I will either use um, coconut oil as a frying medium, not deep frying, just a, enough to kind of get them in the bottom of the pan, or some reserved bacon fat. Depends on what I've got on hand and what I'm feeling like that day. And again, not not a lot of uh, either one of those things. We will ultimately end up adding some Frank's Red Hot sauce, but you can use whatever you like. You'll want to make sure that if you do add sauce, watch any kind of sugar content. Some of the sauces will ha be sweetened, um, particularly barbecue type, with brown sugar. And, you know, season your wings the way you like them. Uh, we're clearly Costco people. <laughs> Here's some garlic, and uh, we'll season them with some salt and pepper and paprika. Or you can just take them with Frank's hot sauce. It, it really depends on your taste. So what you do is you get your cast iron skillet, trusty cast iron skillet, and I throw these in frozen, out of the freezer. I don't defrost them or anything. Turn them down a little bit. I don't want them cooking too quickly. And I'll put maybe a couple of tablespoons of either the coconut oil or the bacon fat, and uncovered, I don't want them steaming. And then I will have sprinkled some salt and pepper and some paprika on, whatever I'm feeling like. Keep a little bit of an eye. Again, not over high heat. Uh, um, I want them to, to kind of defrost and cook slowly. And there's Piper waiting for me to drop something on the floor, which is my norm. She's no dummy. And uh, let them cook there until they kind of seem done, if that is not too vague. At which point, I throw in some hot sauce. I just pour it straight on top of the wings. And again, not measuring. Uh, can we say it together? Casey's a lazy cook. I just... I just uh, kind of throw it on there until it looks right. Now, the, these wings might be or may not be not 100% cooked. They might be a little pink on the inside, but it doesn't matter because I'm getting ready to throw them into a very low oven. I'm going to um, stick them into my oven, set it at about 250 degrees, covered, so that they can just heat through, and that way um, I make sure that they get cooked. This whole process... I cook them more slowly. The whole process probably from start to finish, they were on the cooktop for maybe half an hour. And then I'm really just finishing them off in the oven just to make sure they're heated through. And that way I can also keep them warm. You know, Lovely Mate does not work a set schedule. And sometimes he'll come in earlier, sometimes later, sometimes neither of us are quite hungry. Um, and, and so this is a good way to kind of just keep them warm. Um, and they're just delicious, I have to say. We, um, this, this big pot of chicken wings will last us a couple of meals, you know, dinner and then leftovers. You'll notice on this plate, here's some of mine, there's a patacone in the right, top right hand corner. These are made from plantain. They're, they're not on page four. We actually conducted an experiment, lovely mate and I. This is a, a food from his native Colombia, where you take underripe plantain, peel it, throw it in some oil and in big ch thick chunks and um, pull them out, smash them down, throw them back into the oil and salt them. They are so good. I experimented with one. It did not impact either my weight or my um, level of ketosis or blood sugar. I probably would not push it more than about one. Lovely mate could eat about three, but we were just experimenting.
Anyway, this was a lovely, quick meal. Hope you enjoy it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for your support. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.